about a gel time. Hey there, it's Ashley with Plenty of Picnic and welcome back to another video. I'm excited for this video because today I'm gonna to be eating all of my childhood favorite foods for 24 hours and I'm a child of the 90s so I wore a lot of overalls when I was little so I'm wearing some overalls today. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And first we're gonna start with breakfast. When I was younger, my mom made us a lot of chocolate chip pancakes. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making some chocolate chip pancakes. I'm gonna have, I don't have baking powder, so I'm gonna have to use some of this baking soda, adding in some cinnamon. And I'm also gonna add some chia seeds. I think these would be pretty good in pancakes. And then a little bit of vanilla extract. A little bit of maple syrup. And then I'm also gonna add in just a little bit of this mashed frozen banana. And that helps it just be a little bit sweeter naturally. And then now comes the fun part, adding the chocolate chips. When I was younger, my mom kept adding more chocolate, chip, chocolate chips every time, so it eventually just became like chocolate chip cookies for breakfast, and we eventually got tired of chocolate chip pancakes, and... I only found two very small frying pans, so I'm gonna have to cook each pancake individually. You know, when it comes to making chocolate chip pancakes, bigger is always better, especially when you can only make one pancake in a pan. Well, here are the finished pancakes. I made five massive pancakes, and then I just put on some bananas. Then I'm also gonna add some maple syrup on top. These pancakes turned out really good. I'll leave the somewhat of a recipe I followed in the description box below. And then I also had some orange juice. I haven't had orange juice in like forever. I don't really like orange juice because it's just too acidic for me. It doesn't make me feel that great. But I'll have some anyways. This isn't even mine. I was just thinking, and I think it's kind of funny how everything I'm going to be eating today, my 12 year old brother currently eats right now like every day. So that's it for my breakfast and I'll see you at lunch. Well, it's now lunchtime. The lunches served in my cafeteria in elementary school were so bad. I think there was some kind of chicken nugget or chicken tender or something like that. There were no vegetables whatsoever and they also had some chocolate milk. I always got the little cartons of chocolate milk. Sometimes I bought lunch from school, but a lot of times I had the Uncrustable peanut butter and jelly. They come in a little package in their circle. So I'm gonna try to recreate that circle PB&J with some peanut butter I got in bulk. And then I have some organic strawberry fruit spread. And now it's peanut butter jelly time. So I tried to close the ends of the little round by smashing it, but it didn't exactly work that well because it's whole wheat bread and it's not as like mushy as the white bread. And then this one didn't work at all, but it's at least a circle. And then another thing I loved when I was a kid is chicken nuggets. But of course I don't eat chicken nuggets anymore because I'm vegan now. So I love these seven grain crispy tenders from Gardein. And I was actually introduced to them in my college's dining hall. They served these a lot and I just got completely hooked on them. I liked chicken nuggets so much when I was little. Of course, I didn't know what was in them. And for my fifth birthday, I went to McDonald's and I actually found a picture. <laughs> these are actually best cooked in the oven. But I don't want to turn on the whole oven just for like a few nuggets, so I'm going to microwave them. So I've got my PB&J, I've got my chicken nuggets, and then I also 
I also like to eat some carrots, so I'm gonna have some carrots as well. And then I have always loved strawberries, so I picked a bunch of strawberries from my garden, so I'll eat those as well. And then I always got a carton of chocolate milk in elementary school, so I'm gonna try to make some chocolate milk. I've, I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Put some cocoa powder into a cup. And then I have some organic almond milk. And then pour in just a little bit of maple syrup. And then give that a good mixing. Okay, this might not actually work very well. And I think I'm gonna need a blender because it's just, it's not mixing in at all. Then I'm also gonna add in some frozen bananas just to help sweeten it up a bit. I just put everything on a plate and I have my finished chocolate milk. Oh yeah, then I need to add just a little bit of ketchup. And it's gonna be a lot healthier than that sugary cow's milk I drank in elementary school. And this PB&J is good also. I also ate all of the crust too because I don't want that to go to waste. And the vegan chicken nuggets are good also. They are definitely better in the oven, but they're good microwaved also. And now it's finally dinner time. For dinner, I'm going to be making some mac and cheese. I grew up eating a lot of mac and cheese, especially the craft kind that has all those fun shapes. And it's too bad those fun shapes like at the alphabet. It's too bad that they don't come in regular boxes. All I have is this like super boring elbow macaroni. I'm using my own recipe for vegan mac and cheese and it has some nutritional yeast, carrots, potatoes, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and then some plant milk, and then a few spices. That's all. It is super easy. It's super cheap, a lot cheaper than cashew mac and cheese, and the flavor is amazing. So I've got the carrots and potatoes boiling now and the water for the pasta boiling now. And now I'm going to cut up some broccoli. I've always loved broccoli ever since I was a little kid and I still love broccoli. You think this is enough broccoli for one person? So now I have my pasta cooked and then I heated up some of the mac and cheese sauce. And then I also microwaved some of the vegan chicken nuggets. And now it's time to plate everything. I have this super fancy plastic plate that has different sections for each thing. I had this plate when I was very little. Oh, but there's something I still need before I could eat. You know what to do. I need my handy dandy. Blue's Clues Fork. We need our handy dandy notebook. notebook. Right. This is the same Blue's Clues Fork I used when I was little. So this mac and cheese recipe that I made up is normally very good, but this time I wasn't really thinking and I added some vanilla almond milk and that just kind of made it taste kind of off, but normally it's really good. 
I finished my dinner and now I'm going to have some dessert. I'm going to have some hot chocolate, similar to the, hot, the chocolate milk I had earlier today. Frozen bananas. And then a little bit of maple syrup. And then a few spoonfuls of this cocoa powder. And then blend it up. Pour the chocolate milk into this mug and then heat it up in the microwave. Now, this isn't any ordinary mug. This mug has a picture of me when I was a kid screaming and my little sister. So I have my hot chocolate, and then I'm also gonna have one of the leftover chocolate chip pancakes on this Thomas and Friends plate. Do you remember when you were a kid and it was just so exciting to eat breakfast for dinner? I kind of feel like that now. It's definitely bringing back a lot of nostalgia eating all these childhood foods for it today. The hot chocolate is very good and it's very easy to make also. So you might have been hearing some yipping and barking and grunting during this video. That is because I have one doggy, two doggy, three doggy, four doggy. No, just kidding. I only have three doggies. Well, I had a lot of fun today eating a lot of my childhood favorite foods. Leave a comment on what type of food I should eat next for 24 hours. For my next video if you like this video and want to see more videos like that definitely hit that subscribe button down below i post a new video each week and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye